Every social media platform stole short form content from TikTok and now they're like seeing a lot of success with it. If you remember Facebook in the beginning, you're mm -hmm. getting these raw assets and stuff like that. Same thing with, with uh, TikTok. When it started, everybody was getting crazy raw assets. Now you got to put a little more extra work and effort. But I think a lot from that would remain consistent. I know they're saying they're going to ban it. I doubt it, to be honest. They're not going to ban it. I think what's going to happen is that maybe a company in the U.S. is going to buy it on the servers here in, in the States. TikTok supports a lot of different U.S. businesses, in my opinion. Um, and I think it's here to, you know, continue to make people you know millions of dollars the best thing you want to do and here's my advice for tiktok is and i guess i'll start from like the beginning real quick mm -hmm. so when you're testing let's say for example you're testing i like testing five ads that's five abos twenty dollars a piece three different ads right similar to facebook um and i'll see what works right and i'll kill or i'll scale vertically throughout the day by 30 percent increases every two hours um, and then at midnight i'll reset the budgets because what was the winner today may not may be a loser tomorrow. So a lot of people, what they do is the mistake that they make is they'll scale vertically and then they'll leave the campaigns, they'll leave the budget, the same thing for tomorrow. That is a mistake because what worked today may not work tomorrow. So my biggest advice is what worked today may not work tomorrow. You know, mm -hmm. and what works tomorrow may not work the day afterwards, which, which is why it's important that you're always resetting your budgets back to where they started and then you start to scale it up again. Um, that's my biggest advice there. And also, the other biggest advice is do ABO, do CBO, ACO, and smart campaigns. I'm pretty sure you heard of smart campaigns. Mm -hmm. Smart campaigns was the way I scaled the store to 300K, 30% at profits with pure just TikTok. And it's because I was able to take smart campaigns from 200 bucks a day all the way to $10,000 per campaign. Now, there was like a threshold where $1,000 was, was a sweet spot. Mm -hmm. But you know me, I'm going to push to limits. Yeah. So the, for the people that are starting, you know, don't push it to that point, but definitely use smart campaigns and try to scale it up. You know, every every two hours, increase it by 50% and see what kind of results you can get. Damn. So, I mean, obviously this takes a lot more time and dedication than would Facebook, right? Where you can maybe leave it for the whole day without having to kind of change the budgets accordingly, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just more of a platform where you have to kind of adjust a lot of things um, daily. Um, it's more platform that you have to, it's, it needs more work than Facebook and you need constantly testing ads. Like if you can test 30 ads per week, 50 ads per week, that's how that pro platform will work. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a, it's not like Facebook where you can test 30 ads every two weeks. I still recommend you test 30 ads per week on Facebook still, but it's a whole different platform and you have to treat it a little bit different. You cannot treat it the same thing. The mindset needs to change as you go into it. That makes total sense, bro. Even though it seems like it's similar platform, like on the dashboard, even the audience is like totally different. How would you say, like, what do you think about this? So there's a lot of, you know how every brand is now copy or not every brand, every social media platform is copying TikTok on their short form yeah. content. Do you think TikTok is going to be sustainable in the long term? Or do you think like, Every other platform is just going to basically absorb what TikTok is doing and just kill it over time. I right, repeat that question because like you kind of cut out the last three, five seconds. So I'm asking, you know how every social media platform stole short form content from TikTok and now they're like seeing a lot of success with it. Do you think yeah. because of that, like TikTok isn't as sustainable? No, nah, I don't think so. I think, um, you know, moving into we're moving now into short-term content now. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where we're at right now with like Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. And I still feel like TikTok is the leader and mm -hmm. it's the fastest platform right now that we have, to be honest. So I think it's going to be a a, pro, uh, a platform that's going to stay consistent, you know, uh, and it's going to get smarter. It's going to get like Facebook. If you remember Facebook in the beginning, you're mm -hmm. getting these raw assets and stuff like that. Well, same thing with, with uh, TikTok. When it started, everybody was getting crazy raw assets. Now you got to put a little more extra work and effort to get to the, to get to those to get those returns. Mm -hmm. But I do think the platform that would remain consistent. I know they're saying they're going to ban it. I doubt it to be honest. They're not going to ban it. I think what's going to happen is that maybe a company in the U.S. is going to buy it on the servers here in, in the states. The servers is what owns that holds the data of like the people's information. Mm -hmm. I think that's what's going to happen because TikTok supports a lot of different U.S. Uh, businesses. Right. I don't think they ever you know just shut something down that supports a lot of us businesses in my opinion um but i think it's here to stay um and i think it's here to you know continue to make people you know millions of dollars yeah i agree with you i don't think they're gonna go anywhere i think 
this is still just the beginning in a lot of ways because I still feel the same thing. It, not truly, but I even feel like Meta, for example, is continuing to develop new things, right? And like eventually yeah. they're gonna get into VR, like deeper into it. And I mean, I know that's a goofy play right now, but I feel like Zuck understands like where the future is going. And I think it will be like a brilliant play in hindsight. Yeah.